Hi people. Hello, people. I'm just, uh, can we work it on my volleyball drawing that I was working on yesterday? And so, all I've done up to this point is I've put some dots on the page just to show. Some of the details, or sorry, some of the colors that I'm going to try to incorporate into this image. So I'll just zoom out here in a second so people can see what I was working on yesterday and uh, what we got. Uh, so yesterday I worked, did a human figure uh, study based on volleyball player. And so um, this is what I ended up with. And so what it was, what it is, is it's the a guy just doing a spike approach and jumping. So you can see that this study of how it all came together. And all I'm doing now is I'm putting on just these dots that will allow us to uh, incorporate the different parts, the different body parts as they come together and, and um, create our image of the human and so um, each one of these dots then you pull into the into the shape of the body um, to give it the color and to give it some of the the design and so each one of the dots so I'll start with the shoes and I'll show you what I mean by the dots so we have the shoes down here and then all you do or all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work with about a 20 smudge tool and then I'm going to try and pull this stuff into the the shoe just to help with some of the design and some of the look of it. And again this is done just from the uh, purely point of view of um, it's a very stylized human body so it's not meant to be anatomically correct so much as just to give you that the feeling that of power that is involved when you're doing a volleyball spike and so this just being the shoes is where I'm starting so I'm just gonna pull some of this color into the black areas keeping the uh, the plastic white outside area And again, this is obviously not the way a shoe would look, but for us, this is the way I'm going to keep it. So I'm going to pull this, this across the top of this. And again, it's just, the goal is just to create a little bit of a, a different feel to the whole. The black drawing's nice, but you do want to have some colors involved in it just to. make it a little bit more interesting to look at. So you can see how this is all just starting to blend together. And I'll, I'll zoom back out here again in a second just so you can see what what affects this, this pulp of drawing method that I use is starting to create the design so you can see how the shoe becomes a very stylized almost like a superhero kind of shoe 
Okay, so then let's just zoom out. And so you can see how the foot now has a little bit of a uh, color over top of it. And so the shape of the, the body is still there. And now I have to do the other shoe in exactly the same style. And so you just keep zooming in so you get it in nice and close. And then again, this, this is a goal is to create the design based on what I drew yesterday. And so now it's just almost like a paint by number kind of drawing. I'm just going to put some of the colors into the different areas just to to create ourselves a stylized volleyball spiker. You remember the last the leather shoe that I just did a second ago had the white coming through the middle, and so that's what this is going to be. So the white comes through the middle. Let's take this blue up around this heel. So it just sort of like it flows in there, and then this then becomes the top part of that boot, or running shoe, or whatever you want to call it. And again, it's just a, it's a stylized kind of drawing. Not meant to be realistic, not meant to be anatomically correct, and not even to look like so much like a running shoe, as the shape was there before. So all we're doing now is filling in the different areas. So that we have ourselves a boot. So there, very quickly, then you have shoes. And you can see how it all comes together. Sorry, drinking a Coke. So if you heard me gulping, that was what I was doing. Okay. So now let's just work a little bit to get some color going here. So I'm just going to get a little bit of a bigger draw here so it doesn't take so long. And I want to zoom in here because I don't want to mess this up. So again, you can just see the way you draw the colors down. So it started with just the one little dot. And you just fold the, the lines down in order to create his shorts.
you saw what I did there, what I did is just pulled the pulled the color across and then shut it back off again. <laughs> And just to zoom out so you can just see basically what's happening so far. So it just again keep I'm just keep pulling the, the different colors in order to get the feeling that we want. It's still very stylized. And not, it's a hint of the color sometimes, and it's not necess necessary to fill in the whole thing. And you still want to have the, the striations or the, the smudge effect that, that we've been working with up to this point. So you can see how some of this is, the color starts to change slightly as you pull it with a bigger, with a bigger texture. Okay, so there we're starting to get the the shape of his upper leg. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side, but we wanna keep this totally separate so we can tell it's the other leg. And these two colors we're gonna try and blend together just to keep this as the lower part of the leg. I want it to be a little bit more pink and a little less, uh, a little less like that red color. So we gotta pull this down. So you can start to see how it's starting to pull together. This part here, I'm just gonna keep this a darker red area just where the knee is, and then this will be the lower part of the leg again. And you'll see how I, I'm not trying to fill it in perfectly. I'm just trying to give it that hint of color. And so then let's zoom out. So it looks like he might have some knee pads on. Oh, sorry, that's not what I want to do. So we're starting to get some of the body put together. It looks like his pants are falling down, so we've got to fix that. So obviously the blue has to come up into here. to look like he's actually not losing his pants. The fear of every volleyball player. Oh my God, I've lost my pants. Okay, so now this is just, I'm gonna try and create a little bit of a shirt for the guy. It's Spike Boy. 
Okay. Who is that? It's Spike Boy. There's not much to say about what I'm doing because it's just kind of a paint by number, but I thought some of you may want to see how I finished this drawing compared to what I started with yesterday. And so, again, you're just working on Now, I don't know what I want to do with this. I think I want to go with the yellow in its base. So let's see what I can do with that. It's going to look like he's wearing a, almost like a helmet type thing, but... Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we like it or not. If not, we can always take it back off or put a different color in there or just go back to the silver. But what we'll end up with is a... I'll put a starburst in the middle of his head anyways. So we get that. then we've got now we've got just some colors on the body so it sort of gives them a little bit of a stylized look which is kind of interesting the ball's real easy so all we're gonna do with the ball is just pull color like the mazuna mazuno mazuna 200 volleyball yeah. And again, this stuff is all meant to be very stylized and not perfect or in the perfect shape of volleyball or anything like that. Just the basic, you get the round shape, then we're quite happy. And we're fairly close to that, which is good. Of the different colors. Okay, and then down here, we're going to get a big smudge because I just want to put some color into the floor so let's go 100 size we got there okay that'll work
So again, it's just to give the feeling. They don't necessarily want it to be perfect. They don't want it to look like boards. I'm not going to go in there and put in hours and hours to get the boards to look proper or anything like that. I'm just pulling the, the colors in. Okay, let's go up to about 400. 400. Pull the whole thing. Pull the whole thing. Pull the whole thing. Pull the whole thing. Didn't like that. I wiped out all the back. Go back. Go back. One more. Go back. I don't lose all the colors. into the body a little bit here. Let's see what we've got for shapes. Let's take this down to about 100. So all I'm doing now is just um, just shifting some of the angles of things just so they look like they it's a little bit more accurate. What I want done on his body and his his arms and stuff. So Facial reconstruction. So I'm still not sure I like this, but it's a start. Now we're going to do a little bit of pulling. Now I'm going to save what I've got here because I probably may not like what I'm going to do after this. So I'm going to go volleyball t-shirt five. So I'm just going to save it because now I'm going to start to do a little bit of weird stuff to see if I can create a little bit more interest of this thing. So. So I'm not too sure what this is going to look like, but I'm going to start just to see if I can. Make this picture a little more interesting because at the moment I find it real boring and not very nice.
So the goal here is just to make it look like these, these the colors themselves are just bleeding a little bit. And so it's just a matter of pulling lines across this body. And then that'll either give me what I'm looking for, or not even close. But I saved it beforehand so I can go back to back to what this looks like without it. And I'm pulling it with very small, I call it using a 10 smudge. And so if I get, I sort of like the look, then what I can do is I can go to a, a bigger, heavier duty smudge. But at the moment, I'm just trying to give it a little bit of motion. And the ball in general needs to have lots of that. But I'm going to do this one. The, I'll use a much bigger smudge for the ball to give that action. So this isn't working, so let's go with a 20. Let's see if that gives me a little bit more of a... Yoo-hoo! Edit, undo. Too much. Edit, undo. I need a 15. 20 is too big. as this all pulls out of his body and gives it a because I've been doing this smudge drawing for the last couple of weeks this is a general uh, general effect I end up working with of, uh, what it does is it just takes some of the seriousness out of the drawing pretty fast and also allows you to eliminate some of the colors and the details that you don't really like smudge them and then hopefully in the end you end up with something you like Okay, so first off, let's zoom back out here again. I'm not too sure I like the floor. I'm also not too sure that I shouldn't have some pulls this way.
So I want to go back to open something else because I didn't like that because uh, it's moving forward and I don't. I think what we have to do is I think we have to work with moving up. And so uh, volleyball t-shirt five, which is this one. So I'm going to start over again because I didn't like the folds on that one. First off, I like that the shape of that. I don't like the floor, so I'm going to take the floor out. it so I'm going to give it some height right down to about there so image crop okay and then from there we do some smudging from here and have it smudged down rather than up rather than back sorry just Zoom in a little bit here. Which is a more natural way for the paint to run. So, and from here, we start pulling in a different direction. So again, this is just me experimenting and seeing what I like and what I don't like. So I may get to the point where I go, oof, that didn't look work right. Or that doesn't look right. And then I'll go in and I'll fix it and start over again and try it again until I find the, the angle of these that I like. And I might not ever get there. I may decide that this isn't even the way it should be drawn as with all these pulls coming off his body like that, but you never know until you try it, so. So now let's see if that works a little bit better than the way it did before. Yep, I like that a little bit better because you can see some of it's moving forward, but it also shows he's moving up, which is kind of what I wanted. And then the volleyball, we're going to very carefully just pull a couple just to break it up a little bit because we haven't hit it yet, so... We don't want to look like it's flying away from yet, because it may not be. Zoom back in here. And continue to pull some of this stuff.
Now, as I was saying before, you want motion or the feeling that there's something moving. You have to uh, you have to have angles. Things can't be flat, and so all of these lines that I'm pulling off of the body on an angle gives it that feeling of motion. So just a simple little lesson that, and that's why uh, when you're doing landscapes and stuff like that, it's very important that you have a horizon line in uh, landscapes because you don't want to make the whole land look like it's moving unless you're in the middle of a, a volcano or an earthquake or something like that. And so that's why horizon lines uh, give you calmness and stability where all of these lines, which I'm drawn on these funny little angles, will give you that feeling of motion. And so you don't want to overdo this because it can become too much, but it can. It's also given me that little bit of an abstract feeling to the drawing, which it is. It's not meant to be realistic, so. see how some of the it's still giving them that feeling of power because of the angles and because of the shape of the body this is too solid in here so we want to take off a lot of pulls through here just to break up that hand because at the moment it looks clumsy and so is this one so Take off some of the details you have in that hand because it's a clumsy looking hand. Not very well drawn, so we're going to hide it by pulling stuff across it. Okay, let's zoom out and see what we got so far. Let's see if it's coming together. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't like that line right there. I wonder if I can get rid of it. Woohoo! Not like that, I can't. Undo. I need black. Undo eraser. Give me the paintbrush. too much of an angle and coming out in front and so everything else is kind of behind very cool okay I like it better This one's okay. A few more pulls from this blue would help. A little bit of pull from the white. Yeah. A little bit of pull from the white down here. And we got ourselves a volleyball spiker. Put a few of these across his face. Okay, interesting. Now, let's just start playing with this one. So I'm going to save this one again. So save it, and I'll save that as Volleyball 6. So I've made a whole pile of different versions of this now. And so save that. Yeah, I know, I don't have a mask in there. Okay. And now, we're going to try and highlight the area. And this, this is a using your magic wand and see what it does is it's it's keep it, it'll keep to the outside here and I'll want this area right in here as well and so now every everything that I'm going to do from now on will happen just in this area because I've highlighted the area in front nothing in behind where all the lines are will now end up with any details in it so 
and I'm going to try and throw in some bubbles or something like that just to confuse the crap out of things. But we want the diameter to be huge. Bigger. Bigger. So do I like them smaller or do I like them bigger? So they look like stars. Uh, let's just say okay and then let's just zoom in on it and see what it looks like. <laughs> Very strange. Edit. Undo the bubbles. Let's uh, zoom back out again. And let's see if I can actually just find one that stars. Effects, textures, creative, weather, particles, bubbles. Too weird. Stars, though. Size, size, density, density, coloration. Transparency, definitely. Transparency a little higher. Here's what I want to see. Uh, a little bit darker than that, okay. So let me just see what that looks like. Okay, so now in order to make this work, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and just uh, hit some of these background areas, put some stars in. So using this, the way this Corel program works is if you, uh, if you hold down the mouse, uh, excuse me, hold down the, the shift key when you're doing this, it'll highlight the areas and add them all together. And so they become a group. So now I've got all the groups in the back here highlighted. And so I'm going to hit, hit it with exactly the same star effect that I just did a minute ago. And so that goes under creative and it was particles and stars. And so what it does is it just puts the stars in behind too. So it'll, put it, it'll make them look like he's in space again. And so you can see the background. Starting to come in as the stars. And we're starting to have a little bit more interesting of a painting. Now I want to try something and I don't think I have anything highlighted. No. Nope. All the objects are matched with the back. Combine all objects with the back. Yeah. Now let's see what we can do with the texturing and go with plastic. Woohoo! That didn't work for the way I wanted it to. Hold it. Say okay, and then I just want to zoom in and see what this looks like. That's very strange looking now, eh? It's kind of a cool effect. do that just for the time being and let's go this I want to go back here a few see if it'll allow me to do it undo the wand undo the wand the corral draw program based on it only has so many undos and I don't know exactly what the number is What I want to do is get down to the stage where I have eliminated the dots, which I did. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a plastic version of it the way it is now. So on here, I'm just going to go effect and go plastic. So I'm going to turn the whole thing into a plastic. 
but I'm going to make it a reset value. And smooth this down a little bit, depth up a little bit, highlights way down, right, depth up higher. Say, okay, I want to zoom in and see what this looks like. I may not like this, but we'll see. I think it's uh, taken away from the, it's taken away too much. Undo the plastic. Okay, I can go back to yeah. so I'm not too sure if I like the stars or not. So at the moment, um, I'm just playing and just trying some different things just to see what sort of uh, effects I can get on here. So this scatter just uh, sort of takes some of the, the wind out of its sail. And I can show you what that does. You can see how you get closer. You see how the lines are now sort of scattered. And I don't like the way that looks, so I'll take that off again. So some of these effects I'm throwing in here, it's just me just trying to see what I would like to do. I will put a lens flare in here for sure, right on his face, and it's going to be a yellow one. So i got to go down here and find the yellow, because I think that will look really cool. But I've got a green that I want. Pure yellow there, kids. Pure yellow. And I'm going to put it right in the middle of the mask right there. Okay, but I can't see, so cancel that. I need to go bigger. Okay, so let's try that again. So effects, we're now going to go on to the camera. And it's a lens flare. So the lens, fl lens flare is a, uh, something that I use quite often. It kind of looks cool there too, but um, we're going to play with it for a little bit here and see what we can come up with. But remember I said I want the real yellow, which I do. And then this little aimer here allows me to move it around. So I'm going to try it here first and see what it looks like. And I don't necessarily like it there, so let's just put it up a little bit and see what happens there. See, now that's kind of cool. And I like it there. I kind of like this because it looks like planets in the background, so that's a kind of a cool one, so we're going to leave that. As a pattern, I'm getting close to done, but let's put a few, a very few stars in the background here. Not so much that it affects the, uh, okay, now effects, uh, where did I have those stars, creative particles? stars but not so many size I want the density to be way down and almost not there non-existent um, transparency transparency light and I think we have ourselves and almost finished drawing there guys I'm going to put a vignette over top of it. So those of you that don't know what a vignette is, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but a vignette will just soften the corners for me. And so what you do is you put a, a mask around the outside of it, 
and then you go in here and I think it's under creative there's a vignette and what that does is it'll just blacken out the corners a little bit just see how it almost removed the star though completely so because the star is closer to the edge I may not be able to use that to soften it but I can probably use it if I go very gently with it so vignette yeah and then that now let's move it out fade is way outside keep moving out to the outer edges I don't like it. it doesn't make any difference okay voila we have our spaceman volleyball player save it as the last one okay thank you for watching you guys hope you learned something so this is the drawing that I drew yesterday it was just a stick figure and now it's got uh, the volleyball and a little bit of color into the body and so I will uh, post this the moment we're done here and you can take a look at it in Facebook so again thanks for watching good night everyone